Hello, it's me, Jackalope, and welcome along. We're back playing some more encased. We are rummaging around in this here sewer. It's a sewer beneath the city. I did point it out when we first looked at the map of the city that there was a like a ventilation shaft, and I said, "Oh yeah, I love." I love poking around in a ventilation shaft. So this is where it brings us. It all looks pretty gross, but there's something pretty interesting. Door to the church secret chapel. What the deuce? So there's a chapel beneath the chapel. So let's uh, pick the lock and go in here. Uh, I thought it looked a bit interesting, so we'll see what happens. There you go. Uh, yeah, so it looks pretty interesting. The loud echoes and light shimmering on the walls brings you to the church's secret chapel. The dead end of the sewer system maze decorated with flags. The lamps are dim, though candles in glass jars on the floor and in little nooks in the walls add some light. You see three figures in a corner, clad in the church robes. You move closer. One person Iconic. is holding a strange <laughs> device on his head. It resembles a customized motorcycle helmet. Very kind of Soviet. Embedded in the crown. Soviet Bright, kind of scarlet light glows astronaut cosmonaut I guess and smoke is leaking from beneath the helmet the stranger's mouth is stretched in a silent scream something flashes inside the helmet a bright beam of light runs over optical cables emerging from the flask the person in the helmet startles and sinks slowly to the ground as if deflating Right, we don't have a lot of time now. We've got to come to a decision fairly sharp -oh. And then, full disclosure, I have actually pressed number two previously. Uh, this is why I thought it was probably going to be worth recording an episode, just because I have kind of seen up to here. I'm just going to attack him straight away. Nothing happens if you press two there. Um, so they've... Yeah, although I don't know what happens in this fight. There's actually four people by the look of it. It did say three people, but I guess they can't count. The devs, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's start shooting these people. Full of holes. And then we'll energize the Krumpmeister. Ouch, pain, pain, pain. Of course, we've got no servo shell because we've had to, you know, squeeze ourselves into a... Into a sewer pipe, so, you know, every single... Uh, can we punch this guy out? Yeah, nice. Down you go. Yeah, everyone's starting to hate us in this church, which is uh, a thing. <laughs> That's because we keep uh, smoking them. Okay, Crump takes some damage, but he handled that damage like a boss. He is my tank, so we kind of want him to. Oh, it's me, sorry. Shoot this guy. What the heck? Okay, he gets a shot off but misses his big chance. Ouch, pain, pain, pain. Okay, so crump. Okay. I think we can put this first guy down. 
Oh, the second guy, I guess he is. Sorry about that. Can't I can't count either. Okay, Crump takes some more damage. That's kind of good. That's that guy put down. Okay, so yeah, Crump has taken a little bit of damage there, but it's not too, too bad. I don't think he's in any danger of carking it. Napalm Salamander. Oh, we're we're both alike, so There you flaming go. Okay, so I guess we'd better break out the med kits. Pretty sharpish. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we'll repair Yoko. Just hope we don't cark it in the meantime. No, we don't. Thankfully. So there you go. The ritual victim. Okay, let's uh, search the ritual victim. Who's also wearing the same cult robes. Okay, great. It's the ejector. That's what that guy was uh, was wearing on his bont. And then, yeah, just loot all of this junkola. Yeah, I notice we are kind of, we need a sleep again. Everybody loves sleep um, mechanics in video games, right? <laughs> okay, so let's have a look in this big box. Ooh, another, another helmet. Awesome, psychic resistance. Okay, that's pretty neat. Is that something that gives us a permanent boost there? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, we've read that. Oh, there it is. Let's read it. Yeah, that must be a perk. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Anything to scan while we're here. Oh, we can scan the ritual victim. I guess because we don't know his name. He's Miguel Riviera. Sorry, uh, Mrs. Riviera, your son. 
bought it underneath the dome. Jared Stout. He's a stout yeoman. Okay, we can't interact with any of this interesting looking stuff. Okay, Boulangery. Time to go. Arg. Oh. Okay, there's quite a lot of enemies. I mean, this might be... Just because... It might be bad news just because there's so many of them. Oh, ow. Arg. Wow, they really seem to be going for Yoko there. I'm on fire. Yoko is on fire. I think maybe we take a little bit to heal up. Uh, no, it's eight. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Pain, pain, pain. I mean, they are doing small amounts of damage, but, it, you know, it might be a death by a thousand cuts. Okay, that's the first one down. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, no. He can be more effective if he runs kind of in between the most number of people, which is two. Arg! Yeah, look, they are concentrating on the Yoko. Like, right, I'm going to switch to... Healing. Just because I don't want to cark it on accident if... Uh, if the thing goes for too long, if the com... Oh, what? What do you mean not in a... Oh, I need to be closer, I guess. That's a shame. I guess we can, like, shoot. Ouch. Yeah, wow, look at that. Tons of damage on Yoko. Okay, that's the next one down. Danger level is increased. Yes, that that's something I'm thinking about, Yoko. Okay, so now we're going to heal up our robot. There you go.
Yeah, I kind of don't want to stand near her just because I don't want to be the victim of an AOE. Oh my god. <laughs> Just keep punching, keep on punching. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, here's one. Oh, no, it's. Oh, uh, it gives them scared. Because we do a catter. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, but we're not going to worry about it. Yoko. Oh, rats. Didn't reload. Let's reload. Doesn't put the guy down, unfortunately. Ah! So he's unfortunately going to get one more attack off. So I hopefully am going to heal. Okay, we can't do it natively. However... We probably do have a med kit, so let's use that instead. Okay, put down that guy. It's not the guy we wanted to put down, but it'll have to do. We are taking so much damage. Okay, crump. Crump, crump, he's our man. If no one can do it, you know, maybe he can't do it. Oh no, she missed. Okay, so again, we're going to need to heal up. Again, just so we don't cark it on accident. But he's going to get yet another poxy attack off. Okay, he goes for Crump there, that's great. And Crump puts him down. Okay, so... Let's heal me. Heal Yoko. Uh, and then we'll have to walk this off. Oh, I've collapsed. Oh, because I'm so tired, man. Extreme fatigue. Right. Okay, sorry, Crump. You're on your own, buddy. Okay, so then the next thing we need to do, I think, is... Well, we've head over to... Uh, Magellan Station. We're in the military post and the reason why we're here is we're doing a quest called Keys to All Doors, right? So Nakamura, she gave us a bunch of stuff to do in Act 2, right? The first of which, I'm going to try this one. Uh, she's concerned that Selectrons seized from convicted criminals and persons of deprived citizenship may enter the black market but doesn't everyone have one anyway? There is no black market. Everyone who's in here is uh, an employee of the company, surely. Um, there is some kind of breakdown in the kind of world building in this game, I've noticed. Uh, I don't think I'm being fussy. This it does seem... I don't know. But surely doesn't everyone have a... Doesn't everyone have a Selectron? Isn't that what they give to everybody? Why would there be a black market for them? Who knows? 
Uh, you must go to the Magellan Station, find Antonio Aguera, who is like a, a kind of jailer. He's on floor three. Uh, take the box of selections from him and dispose of it according to the rules. Right, there we go. And this is Antonio Aguera. So let's talk to this guy. He's still hiding behind his monitor. Only the quiet clickety-clack of the keyboard gives him away. Say you're here on Nakamura's instruction, you need to pick up the selections for recycling. The commandant is rummaging in his pockets. Wait a minute, he says. I'll give you the key, but hold on. Do you have the receiving forms? Oh, my Lord. Where can we get those? Go to the admin floor. Oh, boy. Later. Oh, boy. All right. Nuts off to you. There you go. Submit the form. Give me the staff. Garrison safe key. Ooh, where's that? Where's the... What? Where? What? <laughs> Is that something we haven't looked at already? Oops. Aguera took the form and gave you the key to the safe located in the office of the head of surveillance. This is where the selection box is kept. Who's the head of surveillance? Is it this guy? Is there a guy? Oh, this is, uh, this is fun. Fun stuff, right? Just walk in. From one place to another, man. Oh, it's that, actually. Uh, this is pretty interesting, because this place is in the southeast. It's uh, over here, look. That's where the crematoria is. Uh, we are quite near... Oh, gosh, sorry about that. That was a bit of pop there on the old pop filter. And, of course... Mild fatigue, we need to sleep because, like, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is where we gotta go. Uh, here's the thing this looks like the thing that we need to do. Uh, there you go, Zhao Yi. Talk to Zhao Yi. What do you want? Uh, we need to. A, a robust young woman, like a Rubenesque woman, <laughs> in orange overall, raises two fingers in a peace sign. Also, awesome. she smells strongly of smoke. A badge on her chest reads, Xiao Yi, sanitation facilities operator. We'll give her the box. What do you got there, she says? Is it a cat? I charge 50 for animal corpses, but keep quiet about it. She lifts the lid and is soon disappointed. No, it's not a cat. And there you go. Ask her where you can get the disp... What? The terminal is already printed. Oh my later. gosh, the bureaucracy, man. Is there anything else? We can, like, there's a valve there. We could, uh... I mean, I guess I can now, like, search the place. I don't know what these valves are for. What are we doing? Like, turning off the furnace? Maybe going to have a look around in the furnace? Like, uh... Yeah. You know, in the retort <laughs> itself. So, um, uh, we're going to hear the doomsday whistle in a about 10 seconds so I say we do a little bit of exploring and there is the doomsday whistle doesn't that sound sound pretty that's so beautiful uh, there you go it's some stuff um but yeah that's gonna do it for episode 34 
so yeah i would like to say thanks for watching please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more in case especially because it's the season two so we've come a long way so yeah thanks for watching please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more in case or if you want to see more in the way of uh rpg or strategy gaming in general all right thanks a lot bye for now